so now we can simply get the user current location the user live location and display it on the Google map so for that purpose we will go to the prospect.html first we will add a dependency which will help us in getting the user uh, current location or you can say the user current live location and that is geolocator dependency okay click on pub get so it has been added successfully now we can go back to the homepage dot dot file and in here on our home page we are going to implement a method and that method will be get current live location of user so we can get the position of the user and we will give it name as position of user and how we can get first we have to make this method asynchronous as we will wait for the response I mean to get the user current location so geolocator dot get current position and we can set the accuracy desired accuracy location accuracy dot here we have uh, multiple options like best that is the accuracy of the location what we want you want high best for navigation best lowest medium reduced so for example as it is the right sharing application like uber so either you can proceed with high or you can proceed with best for navigation okay so what we did here we get the user lo uh, current location and we assign it to this position of user basically the current location simply means the position latitude and longitude so as we assign it to this uh, variable which is of type position we will need it uh, globally so we can also create here uh, another variable we will give it name as position and we can simply say that current position of user and what we will do we will assign this position of user to our current position of user now as we have the position next thing is to know about its latitude longitude so we can say lat lang and we can get it using our uh, current position of user dot latitude and current position of user dot longitude make sure to add another check here so we have the location now in form of latitude and longitude as you know that when we want to display a position on Google map we need the latitude and longitude of a user so that's why we convert our current position of user to latitude and longitude and we will now assign this to a variable and let's give it name as a position position of user in lat lang then next thing is using the camera position camera position camera position is basically when we want to set the location and animate uh, the camera on google map to the user current position now how you will see it now okay so first we will pass our position of user in lat lang here and then comes how much zoom we want on the google map so you can proceed with 15 so now as we have the camera position also we can now display the current location of user on google map so we can say google map controller google map 
dot animate camera and to this we have to pass camera update dot new camera position since we have the new position now and that camera position is this which is the user new position okay so we will pass this camera position to it make sure to add a null check here and yeah that's it now we have to call this method so on map created here we can say get current live location of user now we are ready to test the application but before testing the application I have to mention some information here if you are testing the application on your real smartphone then you can go ahead click on the play button and install the app in your real phone okay it will automatically get your live location if you are using the simulator or emulator that is the virtual device like me okay I'm using the Android emulator so if you are using iOS simulator or Android emulator that is virtual device then in that case first you have to set your device location okay you have to set your device location from your phone I mean from the uh, virtual phone okay this is not real phone you know that if you are testing the application on your real phone it's okay you can just go ahead click on the play button install the app on your phone and test the application it will work okay but if you are using Android emulator iOS simulator that is any virtual device not a real phone then in that case you have to set the location of your device first how you can set just follow me now so click here on this dotted button it will open up this extend controls in here you will see the location okay which country or in which city you live you can type that for example I will uh, like the place where I live so I will just type my location you see so I will just select my location okay I live here now anywhere you live you have to just type your uh, city name or the place exact place even it can show you the exact place for example street or any location okay for the testing you can choose it is totally up to you guys okay whatever you like so anyways just search the place name here that is where you want to display uh, I mean the current location on this uh, virtual device on this emulator okay and once you search that location it will show you this marker then click on set location button okay then click on set location button so now if I test the application then it will show me my real location that is which is set for this device And here we go you can see that it is getting my current location and here we go here you can see okay 